Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Jen and I make homemaking videos. I'm so glad you're here. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing some laundry, dishes. Um, I'm going out to my garden patch, which I kind of, it's a throw together. Let me tell you, I just literally got on my hands and knees and tossed the seeds in the ground and whatever happens, happens. I didn't pay much for the seeds. I always buy the cheaper ones, so if they grow, they grow. If they don't, they don't. Who knows? It'll be a surprise. I'm going to be showing you my Walmart grocery haul that I ordered the other night. I hope you'll join me and I hope that you enjoy. And if you do, consider tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. Okay, so I swear that wasn't anywhere near as dangerous as what it looked like it was. Let me just say, I don't know where my brain's been lately. My bedrooms are all on the second floor. It makes absolutely no sense to be folding laundry down here on top of the washer and dryer, which is, yeah, pretty much getting left to sit there until somebody decides to take it up. It makes no sense to fold it on top of the washer and dryer. So I found my laundry bag and brought it down and put the laundry in the laundry bag and later tonight I'm going to bring it upstairs, I'm going to fold it on my bed, and everybody's going to come get their laundry and life is going to be much better, much easier. So I don't know where my brain's been. I don't know what possessed me to want to fold the laundry on top of the washer and dryer. It makes absolutely no sense. Things were starting to just get thrown up on top of the shelf, so I decided to do a little organization with it. Declutter what little bit needed to be decluttered, which was just one bottle. I dumped it into the other, and that way I just had one stain remover and one thing, one box for the fabric softener sheets. So that way everything would just go up there the way it belonged. Nothing was way in the back where I cannot reach because I'm very short, so yeah, it made it a lot easier. I'm, I'm actually five foot two. How tall are all of you?
See, much better. I can reach everything, and I no longer have to stand on my tippy toes to do it. Now to get these dishes washed, which is mostly just my pots and pans and knives, and the rest are going in the dishwasher. So if you've tried the new Gain dishwashing liquid, what do you think of it? I actually really like it. It smells like summer to me. At least make it, washing the dishes can be made a little bit more pleasant if you don't have to smell something that smells disgusting, I suppose. And I don't know what's going on, but I <clears throat> had some spots on the bottom of my pan and I decided to try some of the barkeeper's friend on it and it actually made the bottom of the pan look worse so I don't know what the deal was with that. So the hubby is back with Bella and they picked up my haul from Walmart. I have three of the premium shells and cheese, big bag of rice, sugar for the sugar bucket, of course another watermelon, two bags of frozen blueberries, my spinach, English muffins, two bags of frozen fruit, um, chicken patties, hamburgers, uh, chicken drumsticks, two packages of the 85% lean hamburger, and two packs of chicken breasts, spaghetti, eggs, bread for tonight, uh, saltines, potatoes, pepperoni pizza, uh, potatoes, orange juice, Popcorn, more potatoes, suddenly salad, drink mix to put in our waters that are sugar free, four boxes of penne, two things of classical sauce, mayo, caramel pecan coffee, regular coffee, popcorn seasoning, um, peanut butter bars, the um, wafers bagels, more bagels, bread for the freezer, cereal, more bagels, and hubby picked up a few things while he was there. Apparently he bought a pitcher, deodorant, brain health pills, trash cans, which is what everything's in, and some Tums and body wash, and he also picked up donuts. Oh, and he you. bought cat food from Tractor Supply and my two waters that I ordered. Big grocery haul. That should last a while. I still have meats in the freezer, so there's that. Lots of frozen berries and fruit. And now it just all has to be put away. I'm not much of a gardener. And this year, I wasn't feeling it for the longest time to get things in the ground, so I basically just threw everything into the ground. And it's growing. So, whatever works. 
It's not much to look at, but I'm hoping that we get a little something out of it. There's a lot of weeds, but there's a lot of stuff growing. And yeah, I know it looks really rocky, but the funny thing is when I planted all this before all the rain, there was barely any rocks in sight. So the rain must have uppered the rocks. nothing yet just little seedlings and we are going to get a wonderful thunderstorm My one lone blueberry. <laughs> I've got to get this plant into the ground, but there it is. Just one blueberry. There were two. I picked the other one the other day. Best blueberry I ever had, I suppose. So a quick live poll for you. How many of you can to any degree fold the fitted sheet? What? All right, you're right up. I did a huge load of towels. I brought the first folded set up and I'm working on the second. Actually, towels are one of the things in laundry that I really don't mind washing. It's all the other, like socks and just random small things that I really don't like to wash. I've got to figure out what I need to switch the washer and dryer around so that the doors are not opening up against each other. Um, the door on the dryer will swing the other way, but the washer door does not flip around. So they've got to be, the machines have got to be reversed completely on each side. I've got to get new, um, a new vent for the dryer, and then it should be fairly easy just to shift them around.
bought this shirt off Timu. My daughter-in-law says she likes it. I don't know about it. I think the material makes it look like a swimsuit. <laughs> I thought maybe that I had spilled some bleach on it. It's discolored in some places, but I think maybe it's just because of the cheap dye on cheap material, and you get what you pay for. I think I paid a total of maybe four something for it, so it's fine. <laughs> I think Miss Bella is going through her dark clothing phase. Her cousin went through the same phase not all that long ago. She refuses to wear much of anything but dark colored clothes. She doesn't like graphic t-shirts, so the ones that I just bought her, she wears inside out. Oh boy. I'll be glad when this phase passes. Who remembers this quilt living on my bed? Well, Bella decided that she loved it so much, she took it and put it on her bed. And there it lives. And this one got dirty, so she came down on the couch and she took the green one up on her bed. That actually goes on my bed. Wait a minute, they both went on my bed. How does this even work? And yes, I'm noticing she got a stain on it. Nine-year-olds and white blankets don't go together. It is time to get these meats packaged and put away so that they can get in the freezer and freeze up. And I turn my uh, freezer down to negative 11 so it will freeze these meats super fast. They'll all be frozen by morning and then I can move them on over to the big freezer. I always freeze them in the small freezer that is in my fridge first because it, the temperature is much lower than in the deep freeze. If you're wondering why I'm not using the sealer, it's because I'm out of bags for it. Sometimes you just gotta use what you have, and that's exactly what I'm doing. But I do still love my sealer, and when I'm putting meats away, I actually prefer to use it.
I just wanted to let you all know that yes, I am touching the handle to the refrigerator and yes, I did touch a chicken and you will see me before I start handling the hamburger that I actually spray the handle down before I touch it again after dealing with the hamburger. Um, I also cut through the package of the hamburger, but off camera I washed the packages down before I before I um, cut into them. That's why I walked off screen. There was also a lot more hand washing going on than what you can see in these clips. I have cut stuff out for the sake of time, like walking off camera and stuff. I, I try to cut a lot of that off because if I were to leave it in, these videos would just be hours long and there's no point in watching somebody walk off screen and stay off screen for five minutes. Oh, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> I missed one, I guess. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you found this video helpful, inspiring, motivating, entertaining, something. <laughs> Remember, every small step we take in our homes and lives makes a big difference. I love hearing from you all and appreciate your comments and feedback. And I am working to get back to each and every one of you. Until the next time, stay blessed, stay motivated, and happy cleaning. Bye-bye.